Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be talking about a big scholarship. In fact, the biggest funded master's scholarship in the Netherlands. And we're talking about the Orange Knowledge Program. This is a fully funded scholarship that covers fully funded masters and also short courses. So take note of the different um, departments requirements. And we'll be looking at the applications requirements together. So without any further delay, let's begin. So this is the official website of the scholarship, the Orange Knowledge Program. So this program has been on for the past four or five years. And actually, this is the last intake. So I'm not sure there will be another call for next year. So it is important to grab it when it still exists. So as I said in the intro, it's for both short courses between two weeks to 12 months, and also fully funded master's program between one to two years. And um, as I said, it's been around for a while, and this is almost the last um, call for application. So it has been ongoing for the past five years, as you can see. And these are the eligible countries. These are the eligible countries. Most of these countries here are low-income countries, both in um, Africa, you have a number of them in the Asia, even um, in um, Latin America as well, a number of them like Guatemala, for instance. So you can see some countries in the Middle East like Iraq. Um, you can always check here for your application or for the um, whether your country is eligible to apply for this scholarship. So how do you apply in the first place? Well, you do not just send a direct application to the Orange Knowledge Program. You have to go through the participating institutions and see their peculiar way of applying for the scholarship. So each institution might have its own way of um, selecting candidates. And very soon we'll be looking at the institutions together. We'll be using this filter function to see the different institutions and um, the available programs. So there are different programs, different disciplines, and different institutions. You might also want to read some of these documents about what you need to know as an applicant, what are the obligations of the scholarship embodied towards you and what's your obligation towards them. So all these um, documents here, most of them in PDF format, will give you full grounding of what the scholarship is all about and what you expected to do. Regarding the deadline, the scholarship actually opens on the 2nd of February and closes the 22nd of March. So this video will be out on the 31st of January. So you have um sufficient time even before the application window opens so you can look around look at the courses look at what they have been offered look at the applications requirements and get your documents together and also early submissions are often advantageous so do not rush but also try to start as early as you can to put your documents together and start applying so the first round is from February 2nd to 22nd of March. So there's a second round, but just for short courses alone, and even the third round as well, as you can see here. So the application um, selection procedure, so you apply to one of the universities um, in the Netherlands, and then they nominate you and tell you how to apply for the scholarship. Then the embassy will just um, finalize the process, check your documents for you and check everything to make sure everything is intact. Then you get a letter and then you begin your award. So let's look at some of these documents. There's a, a bit of info I would like to show you in this document here. There's a document of about those three pages, just three pages. And um, I just want to bring your attention to this piece of info to show what it covers. Full tuition, living cost, travel, visas, insurance. So you wouldn't need to move any financial muscle when you get the scholarship. It covers your travel, covers your tuition cost, living stipend, visa, health insurance, and the rest of them. So let's go to the participating universities and participating courses. Let me leave this, um, remove every um, filter. Let's let me remove every filter and use a blank, a blank 
um, page. So of course, to get to this page, just go through the main page and use this filter um, instruction here. So this is the list of programs. As you can see, 1,997 programs. But then you have to use the filter function to narrow it down to those that are eligible for the scholarship and those that, um, that aligns with your area of specialization. So just go first and make sure you click on the OKP program, the OKP, because there are other scholarships here. You just want to go straight to the OKP to narrow down, to narrow down your um, search. So OKP, these are the programs eligible for the scholarship. And then it's just for masters and short courses, remember. Masters and short courses. So I've chosen a masters. I've clicked on the masters filter here. And these are the different general um, areas or fields of study. So let's choose probably engineering, for instance. So let's choose engineering. And the first course here we have it's um, energy and environmental sciences. And of course, there's a very long list. You can always to show more and yeah so let's use this for an example energy and environmental sciences university of groningen in the netherlands so just open it in probably another tab and this is a quick summary of what the course entails and the fees and everything but remember we're applying for a scholarship so you go to the course page to get the full gist so this is the official course page. And you check, of course, you check for the applications requirements and everything, what you need to provide and um, whether you have to do like an English proficiency test or if you can get a waiver or other things like that. Or you might be asking, how then do I apply for the scholarship? So this page that we landed on doesn't say much about the scholarship. It just says a lot about the course. And what you do in this case is to click on the search button and type in OKP, Orange Knowledge Program. And then we'll land on the specific page for this scholarship at the University of Groningen. As I said in the beginning, different universities might have different ways of selecting candidates for this scholarship. So you want to read the specific department or specific university instructions. And this is the page for this university. These are the eligible courses. And this is um, the mechanism of applying. So if you notice, um, this university hasn't updated their page yet. So it's still saying 2021 here. So hopefully when the scholarship opens, this will be updated. So the mechanism here is already stated on how to apply. Usually you apply for the course differently, but you do not need to wait to get admission into the course. I, I apply for the course and then move to apply for the scholarship. But read, as I said, the particular instructions from each university to know how you can get nominated. So let's use another example. Let's go to um, the um, social sciences or medical sciences, you know, or humanities, something like that. So this is health sciences. Let's go to humanities and see if, so there are lots of courses here, philosophy, classics, demography. There's one on conflict, territories, and identity at Radbond University. So we could try that and see as well how to apply. So we get on this general page once again, summarizing the course and everything and saying the duration as well, just a one-year course. And then let's go to the course website proper. So this is the course website. And of course, you have to check the admissions requirements and things you need to provide, transcript, CV, and every other thing. But now, what about the scholarship? Then you can always go here, scholarship and grants. So as you can see, different universities might have different frameworks on how to look or dig out the scholarship. And then we'll look for the OKP. So there's one orange um, scholarship here, but this is not the one we're looking for. Looking for the Orange Knowledge Program. So this is it. And um, fortunately, this university, Radbond University, has updated their website. As you can see, they are open for the um, 
for this year's um, intake. And it's a quick summary of what the scholarship is all about. And you can move on here to see how to apply. So this is the, the application window we saw earlier, 2nd of February to 22nd of March. And it is stated here that you need to apply first for the master's program, one of the eligible master's program. But you do not need to wait to get an offer before you apply for the OKP scholarship. It's also so read closely and see what the university uh, specifies as its application requirements. And the other info here exactly of how you can apply the eligible courses and the procedure. So this is very clear. But remember, there are also short courses. You probably don't want to stay for a whole degree course, maybe a one year, two year course, but a quick course to brush up your skills. So let's just remove all the filters and start afresh. So just go straight to short courses and remember to choose the OKP scholarship. So these are different short courses. So I think I'm interested in something um, in, let's say, research method, a short course in research method. So remember, whether it's a short course or a master's, it is fully funded. You don't need to worry. So research method. So there's something here about research methods for sanitation. That's not exactly what I want. And then there's um, research methods and skills. I think I like this. So I'll click on it to get the full info. Again, go straight to the course page. So here it is important to read about the program, what it entails, the deadlines, um, admissions requirements as well, and of course, funding. So you can see different universities have their own different platforms and different ways of informing you on how to get funding. So that is it, guys, the fully funded Orange Knowledge Program in the Netherlands. I think it's also important to state that some of these universities might require application fees. Some of them also have fee waivers. Some of them, there are no application fees. So it depends on you look around and check and see which one you can pay for, which one you can get for free. That is your own assignment to do. Check universities that are waiving application fees. Check those that do not have at all and check those that have and those you can probably pay for. You might also be required to write like essays of why do you need the scholarship, your academic background, what skills do you intend to learn, your leadership um, skills as well. So I think it's a good time to also show you that there are materials on this channel that you can use to write those essays. So you can simply go to my YouTube channel and look at this tab on scholarship essay tips. So these are different scholarships and their essay questions. Most scholarships just repeat questions year in, year out. And scholarship um, essay questions are quite similar regardless of the scholarship. So Chevron will be asking you about leadership skills, networking skills, and um, career goals and things like that. Commonwealth is also doing the same. Um, MasterCard is also doing the same. So you can always get tips from here on how to write for even other scholarships. And um, motivation letters as well, motivation letters, how to write motivation letters, um, how to write um, emails to professors. So all these things are already here, even though this scholarship doesn't require an email to a professor. But this is just showing the range of materials we have already on this channel to guide your application. And um, yes, that is it, guys. The Orange Knowledge Program waiting for you to apply. The biggest funded master's and short courses scholarship in the Netherlands. And as usual, we cannot wait to celebrate you. Start putting your documents together. Start applying as soon as possible. And we are itching to see you at the top. Bye-bye for now, but um, get to work. <laughs>